All right, so last night I built this uh, DJI uh, F450 flame wheel with uh, the NASA. Pretty straightforward. There's a few things with the uh, DX6i radio that you have to set up before you start programming it. But uh, pretty much got everything set up. And uh, I got white as the front. Out to Maiden. Let's do it. And the wind today is about 15 to 20 out of the northwest. We set a cold front last night. So uh, let's go to Maiden. This is the uh, post maiden wrap up of the DJI F450 flame wheel ARF kit. Um, super happy with it. Uh, really fun. Today the winds are about 15 to 20 miles per hour gusts. Still held uh, held its own real nice. Um, using it with the NASA M light. You can see it in there. Um, Performed very well. I mean, out of the box, it's set up for aerial photography, so the transitions between movements were smoothed out. Uh, kind of like holding one angle of your last direction to kind of not come to any abrupt stops or whatever. So it was kind of smoothie. But uh, that being said, it still held well. If I was doing photography, it would have come out great in 20 mile per hour winds. I'll probably change the gains a little, get a little more snappy, but uh, still extremely, extremely happy with. The uh, set up so quickly just a couple hours overnight and I built it I have it set up with my uh, AR6210 receiver and satellite which was in one of my old planes I wasn't even flying for a while um, all the connections everything was pretty straightforward I would say that uh, you have to do a lot of online research if you want to build one if you don't have somebody to talk to that knows how to build them, which I didn't. I got all my info off of the internet and uh, had a few questions. Again, uh, I have this set up with a DX6i. I uh, would recommend that before you start programming your NASA M Light on your computer. I also have the white as the front, red as back, ready for a camera or some kind of FPV. Uh, before you start programming your NASA M Light, have the DX6i three switches with your mix already set up. There's videos out there show you how to do it. 
um, you need your switches set up or it will just stay as fail safe and you won't be able to start your motors as well as when you do the calibration uh, very important you may have to well, I had to go into my travel adjust and increase the throws on all the sticks so that uh, the endpoints it needed to see the endpoints of your sticks not just uh, for instance my sticks were going on the extreme at like 995 instead of a thousand so I had to increase the travel adjust uh, to get to a thousand and then in the um, NASA M lights so software uh, it then recognized it and uh, was able to start the motors <laughs> that was a definitely a victory moment last night um, so those two things I would definitely have set you know keep in mind if your motors aren't starting uh, after that um, just really stoked I think it went together real well I uh, I did add uh, Loctite to all the screws before I put them in um, not much else I can say so real stoked I used a 2200 battery and eight minutes went through 1300 ma and the cells were at 3.8 so I probably could have got 10 minutes I let it go to 3.7 which uh, with no load it's okay you know definitely can handle bigger batteries uh, my kit also came with the legs the AP legs but uh, I didn't put them on but I will just to keep uh, all the guts and inerts <laughs> and base plate out of this grass or whatever it's landing on so overall super super stoked with the DJI Flame Wheel F450 ARF kit. Um, if you're looking to go this way, all I needed to add was my uh, my receiver. I already have battery and charger, um, and then of course you have to get a uh, a controller. Um, I almost went with the Open uh, Pilot CC3D. I think this would have been fine with that, but uh, but I'm glad with the way I have it set up. All I have to do is add a GPS unit module for about 109 bucks, and I'll have uh, all the other functions that the uh, NASA M provides. But for right now, stable flight and uh, um, nice control, and I'm real happy. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe.